Ladies and gentlemen, and online viewers from Indonesia, welcome to the 2021 Taiwan Excellence Electric Vehicle Webinar. I am Ariel, and it is my pleasure to be your EMC today. This event is organized by Taitra, Taiwan's foremost trade promotion organization, in collaboration with the Bureau of Foreign Trade, Taiwan. To kickstart today's webinar, I would like to invite Dr. Henry Meng, Deputy Director General of Smart System Institute, Institute for Information Industry, to deliver his insights regarding the electric vehicles industry. Let's welcome Mr. Meng. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and our special guests from Indonesia and Taiwan. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the invitation from Taitra. And uh, the, uh, I am Henry Mann from III Institute for Information Industry. Uh, we are a non-profit organization and our mission is the government think tank and ICT R&D. Uh, so uh, today I would like to share some uh, experience and uh, some use case with all of you, especially on the smart e-bus uh, strategy and uh, development in Taiwan. And this is the outline I'd like to share with you. So the first, uh, the first one is the smart e-bus development in Taiwan. The second one is the smart e-bus solution, especially the vehicle and the roadside and the motorcycle. And the, the last one is the future corporation suggestion. So, uh, this, First page is the uh, Taiwan policy initiative on e-bus. So uh, Taiwan government uh, will transform all the public bus to the electric uh, bus by 2030. So uh, including the budget and including the roadmap, uh, just like the slideshow, uh, we have uh, budget support on this project and uh, we have the target number of uh, e-bus that will be uh, transferred to the uh, elect electricity. So uh, I think this is our, our roadmap uh, share with you. And this is the three-phase development on the e-bus. So the phase one, um, the e-bus will use on the public transportation. And the phase two, we will deploy on the uh, rapid transit, we call it ART. And the third phase is the DRTS, especially used on the uh, rural area, and not only the urban area, we include in the rural area in Taiwan. So uh, the most important on the e-bus development, we think it, it is the uh, ecosystem. So this is the, uh, some example to show the ecosystem uh, that is built in Taiwan. So including the battery, including the chases, including the powertrain, uh, especially the intelligent system for the software part and the hardware part. And, and we also have uh, several companies on the vehicle manufacture, such as the uh, IC and the master company. So uh, this ecosystem uh, cannot be uh, developed depend on only one company. So we need a lot of company to participate and join this ecosystem to make this e-bus happen. So for this purpose, I think III cooperate with Titra and got the support of MOEA and MOTC. MOEA is, is Ministry of Economy Affair. MOTC is the Ministry of Transportation and Communication. Uh, supported by our government and the ITS Taiwan, we build up the uh, ITS trend, digital transformation platform. And this platform, we will cooperate with Taitra and to promote in Taiwan uh, with uh, a lot of company. So the first one use cases, I think this is uh, smart roadside units. So the, the solution is to solve the, uh, to increase 
the public safety, especially on the intersection. So by use of the AI and uh, our advanced ICT equipment, we can increase the uh, bus safety and uh, the motorcycle safety. And second use case is especially for the uh, motorcycle. Uh, I think all of you know about the uh, Taiwan has a lot of motorcycle, just like Indonesia. So how to uh, increase the safety and to reduce the accident of uh, motorcycle? I think this is the most important goal for our government and for our R&D organization. So we developed Scooter to Infra solution, and we like to uh, invite Indonesia company uh, to cooperate this tech solution and technology with III and with our government. So last one, we like to propose the e-bus ecosystem and the solution, including the two uh, solution use cases to uh, combine into uh, one solution, including the vehicle, roadside, and the cloud technology to, to become a total solution based on the following uh, advantage and strengths of Taiwan. So we have a very good high performance computing hardware and software uh, solution te technology. And second one is we have the uh, world largest semiconductor supply chain, especially in tele telematics and uh, uh, automating driving uh, vehicle, especially the big data and AI model based on Taiwan uh, mixed traffic flow um, environment and the data. So based on our uh, strengths and uh, Taishra uh, strengths, we can combine together and uh, we sincerely invite company from Indonesia uh, to cooperate with uh, Taishra and with Tripwire and with our Taiwan local company to develop and uh, to uh, deliver a very special e-bus solution to Indonesia. This is, uh, I think this is our experience and our use case we'd like to share with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Meng, for your insights. Next, it is our honor to have Mr. Kuku Kumara, Secretary General of Gai Kingdo, to share with us some insights regarding electric vehicles in Indonesia. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. It is an honor for me to be invited in this uh, very important uh, forum. It has been uh, quite some time uh, we have this plan to have a meeting with uh, TITRA. However, due to the pandemic, we have to reschedule the uh, event. But finally, that uh, now the pandemic in Indonesia, especially, are relatively under control. The vaccine is already available. People has been vaccinated, and hopefully, with uh, continuously with respect to the health protocol, we can continue to start uh, the business uh, recovery. And one of the important business or sectors that need to be recovered uh, soon is uh, the automotive industry, as you are know that. Uh, Automotive industry in Indonesia is one of the key sectors contribute to the economy of the country. And we are know that uh, Indonesian automotive Indonesia contribute uh, about 4% to the GDP. Therefore, the recovery of the industry is relatively, uh, uh, we, we expect that we can uh, continue. Recently, the government also issuing a stimulus policy Hopefully, this uh, can uh, speed it up the process of recovery of, of the automotive industry. As you are aware, that the PPNBM has been real, uh, 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 reduced, uh, imposing this uh, from 100% to 25% every three three months. So hopefully, this is uh, will uh, again speed it up the process of recovery of the automotive industry. And. Currently also uh, becoming an issue in Indonesia that we need to also reduce the emission. And the government already issued a number of uh, regulation or policy 
uh, one of them is the the tax of the luxury tax on the vehicles which is previously based on the the size of the engine as well as the shape of the vehicles in 2019 the government has issued uh, the government regulation number uh, 73 that uh, shifting from the previous luxury tax based on the size of the engine and then move to the tax based on the level of emission the lower the emission of the vehicles the lower also the tax and this regulation will be full in effect this year in october so uh, look at this one and uh, the tax is becoming uh, relatively and the regulation is relatively uh, simple and uh, the classification of the vehicles also being uh, simplified and this is uh, promising that uh, it will a lot simpler hopefully this is also invite a lot of uh, company to invest in indonesia currently also the indonesian government is trying to increase the utilization of the automotive industry as you are all aware that the total capacity right now is about 2.4 million unit vehicles being able to be produced in indonesia but on the normal condition before the pandemic the utilization is still at the level of 54% and then while during the pandemic it dropped to 29% very low and the government is trying to support this one by issuing as i mentioned earlier the uh, relaxation of the luxury tax hopefully this will speed it up the process of recovery by increasing the utilization we expect that uh, we can increase the ratio of uh, ownership of the vehicle in indonesia as well as try to export we indonesia want to uh, increase its role as the basis of the automotive industry for export and um, maybe recently the government also working with the uh, principle that uh, utilization of the existing production can be use for export to other countries and the government is already uh, doing this one hopefully early realization will come in the near future on the other hand as i mentioned that uh, we are moving toward low or even zero emission vehicles government also the government of indonesia already issuing a number of regulation uh, regarding the development of the electric vehicles or what we call it battery uh, electric vehicle or pev why because indonesia have a number of uh, natural resources as the raw material to produce the battery for electric vehicles and this is already happening but what we need to do is also the development of other component needed for the electric vehicles this is an opportunity Uh, wide open for all uh, company who want to participate in this process again this is a uh, very important because uh, some of the component may be relatively relatively new but the other component of the vehicles is already here it just need to be uh, slightly differentiate or even develop what is still missing is the the uh, the process of developing the component because right now people or other are really focused on the vehicle itself but the vehicle itself cannot run by itself because need for number of 100 even mil a uh, 100 even a uh, thousand of component need to be developed slightly different from the existing internal combustion engine but the development of the electric vehicles uh, it need the uh, times and it will grow side by side but the existing internal combustion engine so over time there will be a electric vehicle once uh, the vehicles are being able to extend their range as well as the price then it will be coincides uh, with the internal combustion engine at this moment relative still relatively low but the potency is there because uh, we want to have a 
zero emission vehicles as well. Uh, contribution to the world, try to reduce the emission. So once again, the opportunity is there and uh, the component is uh, need to be developed and we cannot just rely on the domestic market, but the domestic market is the base that in the automotive industry among the ASEAN country, Indonesia is the largest one because 34% currently of the automotive uh, market in ASEAN is in Indonesia. So we have the basis, but we need to develop. We still need more company or investment to do the part. And uh, with cooperation with uh, research and university and then uh, investors, I think uh, we are quite promising moving forward. With that, uh, I would like to end up uh, my uh, remark and hopefully that the uh, forum or the the forum of this uh, exhibition can be uh, meet uh, the objective and I think this is not the first but it will be continue that uh, we are working together and uh, promising for the future in the automotive industry. Thank you very much. Today, we have invited the representatives from five companies, including Delta Electronics, Tico Electric, Chen Tech Electric, Kaizen Green Energy, and Energy Moana Tech to share with us their innovative products. During the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to submit them by using the Q&A QR code on the screen. We will collect your questions and invite the representatives to answer them in the following weeks. First, Mr. Ming Yu Zhang, Senior Product Manager from Delta Electronics, will talk about their EV charging solution. Welcome, Mr. Zhang. I'm Ming Yu Zhang, and it's my pleasure to introduce the electric vehicle charging solutions from Delta Electronics. Delta Electronics has a long history of innovation and has been a global leader in power and thermal management technologies. Delta offers some of the most energy efficient products and solutions for many applications and in many industries, including energy infrastructure, which is going through an evolution with mega trends in electrification, digitalization, and decentralization. Within energy infrastructure, Delta is particularly active in renewables, energy storage, and EV charging solutions. The core mission of Delta is to provide innovative, clean, and energy efficient solutions for a better tomorrow. From core capabilities to product planning, Delta follows the brand promise, smarter, greener, together. This is not only a requirement for Delta's co corporate development, but also a commitment to global customers. Among all the new business areas, EV is a breakthrough technology that is transforming transportation and fighting climate change by eliminating carbon emission. That's why Delta Electronics started to develop EV charger in 2010. As of today, there are more than 800,000 Delta EV chargers installed in more than 50 countries worldwide. In the past 10 years, we have seen tremendous growth in this industry. While until now, the market attention has always been on Tesla. However, things are going to change. As we know, each major car company will launch 20 to 30 new EV models in the next three years. In fact, several car makers have announced plans to stop production of gasoline cars and only make electric cars. We believe this is the perfect timing to introduce our next generation charging solutions to meet charging requirements for future electric cars. And here are just a few examples of how we help customers prepare for the EV charging challenges in Indonesia, including charging network in highways and also charging services in car dealerships. One of the major type of charging products is AC charging. The target applications for AC charging include home, business, and public. We know 80% of charging take place at home, and it is important for EV driver to know they can always have the car fully charged first thing in the morning. When people are not at home, they are probably at work. So workplace, commercial parking, and retail hotels are also ideal locations for charging. And in order to connect all the dots, public charging is also important, just like what gas stations mean for gasoline cars today. 
Delta AC Max is our latest product in this category, and it is designed for everyday charging. It is of maximum performance for up to 3-phase 32 amp and 22 kilowatt charging with lowest standby power. It is possible to reduce charging current when needed. AC Max allows remote update to add on new features, and its IP55 ingress protection is ideal for indoor and outdoor use. There are multiple ways of user authentication thanks to network connectivities and smart features. Therefore, we are offering three models of AC Max for different customer segments. The basic model is for home, and smart model is with network connectivities is for business operations, and the premium model is with certified meter for public applications to manage payment and billing. The other type of charging is DC charging. The target applications for DC charging include commercial and public. Compared to AC charger, the DC charger bypass the limitation of onboard chargers and are able to achieve higher charging rates for up to 350 kilowatts. We support CCS and Trademo standards that are commonly used by EVs in the market. DC wall box is compact in size for 25 kilowatt output. It is the smallest DC charger in the market and can fully charge an EV in less than one hour, which make it perfect choice for charging solutions for commercial locations. Following the standard features of Delta EV chargers, it also comes with communication, auto rating, and remote upgrade and configuration. We have been providing DC wall box in US, Europe, and several Asian countries with more than 6,000 installations so far. DC DC City Charger is designed for charging at 50 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt, so it is two or four times faster than DC wall box and can charge two cars at the same time using the same or different charging protocols. There is also a dynamic local distribution that will be able to control charging output based on real-time demand from the cars. This will allow site operators to optimize charging service and improve customer satisfaction. From our experience in the industry, we see several challenges accompanying EV boom from three major perspectives. EV drivers care about how to reach the destination gracefully. As we know, range anxiety is by far the most critical bottleneck in EV adoption. Operators care about return of investment. In the past few years, we have seen many companies, including big groups and startups, getting into the charging service operation while we know many of them are not profitable at this moment because of economy of scales is not yet achieved. We believe this is going to change soon with new EV adoption. With more competition in this field, operators need the most suitable solutions for the business needs regarding the type of chargers, the number of chargers, locations, and management architecture. Grid suppliers care about stability of power grids. As we know, most of the grid companies are liable for grid supply of a country. And we are here to help grid suppliers plan for future smoothly. With the addition of new charger products, we are now offering customers the most comprehensive product portfolio for EV charging. But this is just the beginning. Imagine when there are more electric cars on the road, the aggregated charging needs could become an impact to the grid. We believe EV charger will play a critical role in the future grid, including by working with energy storage for peak control, working with solar inverter for renewable integration, and working with management system to optimize energy usage at highest efficiency. By offering all the building blocks, we are one step ahead of the industry and are committed to solve tomorrow's problem from today. This concludes the presentation today. Please scan the QR code on the screen to get more information. And if there are any inquiries for products or sales, welcome to contact our country manager for Indonesia, Mr. Johnny Tan. We look forward to working with you and driving e-mobility of the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Zhang, for your presentation. Next, Mr. Ken Watnick, Senior Manager from Tico Electric will talk about the company's next-gen powertrain system for electric vehicles. Welcome, Mr. Watnick. Hi, my name is Ken Watnick with Tico. And first, I'd like to welcome the Ind Indonesia delegation here. In the next 10 minutes, you will pick up the tools to become knowledgeable about electric vehicle drivetrains and understand why Tico's T-Power is the next-generation powertrain system leading the way. 
and why it's worthy of Taiwan's Excellence Gold Award. Well, first, Tico is proud to be a partner with the famous Foxconn Apple iPhone supplier, joining their MIHV EV platform. This is sharing the hardware, software, ecosystem platform. MIH means uh, minimalistic, intrinsic, as well as harmonic. Well, with that excitement, let's talk about T-Power. T-Power by Tico. Well, what is T-Power? It's an integrated motor plus drive solution. It is the heart of your electric vehicle. What is the drive? The drive, it's the brain. What is the motor? It's what turns the wheels. Why is this product so excellent? It satisfies the key problems the vehicle makers face. And what are those problems? Well, let's see. In today's world, because of longer lasting batteries, the trend from gas engines to electric vehicles is upon us. As a vehicle maker, you are challenged to upgrade your fleet from gas to electrification. The generic solution is you just buy a motor and a drive, you invest a lot of money in an R&D team, and you figure out how to make everything works. This is hard. Even if you've got billions of dollars to spend, this is not something that you want to do. There is the basic problem of setting up your system. Basically, have you chosen a dependable motor and a drive where you feel confident of its manufacturing quality? Have you got the right torque accuracy? Have you optimized your system's efficiency? Have you considered the costs for your space limitation under the hood? These issues we learned and overcame through our electric motor product history. From vans, trucks, buses, passenger cars, we worked also with Taiwan's most famous government research institute called ITRI, the Industrial Technology Research Institute. And they helped us to develop the drive. And it's with that spirit of enthusiasm and passion, we took it one step further and integrated the motor and drive together. And that's our solution here, the T-Power. Let's go to the core technology. This is a proven product. And this core technology involves, first with the drive, we're talking about the Auto SAR, which is a platform used by all of the major makers, such as BMW, Toyota, Ford, in their basic vehicle control unit technology. And what we've been able to do is standardize basically the drive and then may make it also customized for your electric vehicle requirement. Now let's go to the motor. We achieved 21 patents, of which 16 are also registered in the US. Not only did we design our PMSM permanent magnet synchronous motor with almost 97% high efficiency, its patented technology in its rotor and stator design has led to a very quiet, low noise and low vibration motor. You talk about when you go into electric vehicle, you hear come that whining sound, that really high pitch. Come listen to T-Power, it's almost not there. Well, let's go and talk about this design. This is a beautiful design. It's compact, it's modular, it's in a beautiful aluminum alloy frame. The efficiency is 93.6% as a combined system. And this will increase your battery, battery life and your cruise, basically your cruising range by about 10% over the standard uh, electric vehicle motors that are out there. We will also be able to system, how do you say, optimize your system with its low weight of about 60 kilograms, including the motor at 48 kilograms. So one thing that people always want to see is what's the comparison versus the ICE? Well, when you look at CO2 emissions, T-Power is 65% less. You look to the tank to wheel efficiency, 4.25 times better. And regenerative braking, T-Power has it. There's no such thing in ICE. Let's talk more about the T-Power series and its application. You can see the coverage from 50 to 130 kilowatt. We're covering the trucks, vans, passenger cars. The T-Power Plus from 150 to 300 kilowatt going into the bus, heavy truck, as well as off-road, marine, and heavy industrial. Already we're very busy. 
were working in India, Thailand, Japan, Vietnam. Perhaps Indonesia is next. You are, I'm sure, aware of the Indonesia's electrification policy. It's very aggressive. 35% localization of parts by 2022. Electric vehicles need to account for 20% of all the vehicles in 2025. And the emissions reduction in, by 2030 needs to be by 29%. This is very aggressive. Are you ready? Well, Tico is already very busy right now. We have factories in Taiwan, China, Vietnam, as well as India. Maybe Indonesia could be next. We can discuss about this. Showing you again our busyness here, these are real cases. We've got projects ongoing in Japan, Thailand, India, as well as Vietnam companies. For your vehicle application needs, let me just give you a couple examples. One is with the EV truck. This is in very popular demand today in Taiwan. The logistics companies are crying for this. And therefore, one of the top companies from Japan has asked us to collaborate with them. And what we're doing is we're working very closely. We've almost got it ready, going through all this testing today. We'll be launching in 2021 Q4 this year. Now let's talk about the e-bus. This is a 200 kip example here, 250 kilowatt T-Power Plus. Again, this is the Taiwan government has announced the e-bus policy. We are right on top of it. We're going to launch this this year. Now, when you're looking for a partner for your electrification needs, and particularly for your drivetrain requirements, Tico Group is the one. We have over 65 years experience as a company, but in terms of actual motor experience, Westinghouse Electric Motors, as you can see on the logo here, that is a part of our DNA from George Westinghouse. We purchased that company in 1995. We are the motor experts. So now, let's take a look at the T-Power in action so you can actually see more about it. Let's look at this video. Let's we'll start first, uh, you know, with an eco view here, and then we'll go into some more details. Here you can see our smart manufacturing center here in Taiwan. I mentioned to you about the drive. Again, this is all with robotics that it's being done here. Very high tech. Our motor manufacturing. Take a look. Again, we're using the latest in German robotic technology with Taiwan designs here. And this is also purely, it can be expandable also to our other regions. Quality is so important. You see the traceability of each part. It's all built into the system. Here again, our high quality manufacturing, our high quality assembly. Again, with the robotics, it makes everything work so smooth. It's a great product. Now, furthermore, I want to tell you and show you about, you know, we're talking about the e-bus. Here again is the T-Power Plus. It's that larger application, 250 kilowatt. You know, it really moves. Let's, let's see, let's take a look at this in action here. Here's the example with the Taiwan governor, government's e-bus. Really, it's a, it's a great e-bus and it has a lot of great functions. And of course, it's got our T-Power Plus inside. And look at that climbing up the mountain. We can do that in Indonesia as well. Now let's take a look at our T-Power. Again, here in this example, we're showing you what we're doing locally here for the, the E-Van, as well as with the E-Trucks. Again, it's a very high torque design, and it's built with all the best safety efficiencies as well as high efficiency requirements. The low noise, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation. In addition to that, it's very lightweight. Fits quite well. We're following all the automotive ISO requirements. It's a modular design. Fits perfectly in your car as well as your van. Here we're just showing you again, we're ahead of a lot of our peers. We've got a great system. And we want this to be also part of Indonesia if you're ready. Tico is ready. If Indonesia is ready, let's work together. Let's see what we can do. So T-Power, again, it's our next generation power system for electric vehicles. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wonnick, for joining us today. Next, Mr. Elvis Hu, sales manager from Chen Tech Electric, will talk about EV battery production and testing solution. Please welcome Mr. Hu. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Elvis. I am the sales manager of Chen Tech Electric. 
It's my honor to be here and share with you about my company, Chantech Electric, and our battery test and production solution for Indonesia market. Chantech has been in battery industry for more than 35 years. We have comprehensive products like can meet our worldwide client needs from advanced battery research to economic battery production. Our headquarters is in Taipei, Taiwan. We will ship our equipment to worldwide major battery manufacturers and EV companies, including PT, Yuasa, Sun Wanda, Panasonic, and Honda. Especially, we will work with Sony, now Munada, for more than 10 years. The reasons why major battery manufacturers choose us are as following. First, we have a total solution to support our client from battery research to mass production for for research, high precision and customized space allow them to validate battery performance. For mass production, the economic and high energy recycling solution minimize manufacturing costs and maximize profit. Second, chain tech team is an excellent assistant integration. For example, third-party hardware communication and control like chamber EIS instrument or PLC. Also, we have a rich experience in MES system integration. Third, Chantec is the pioneer in battery big data analysis. To help our clients succeed in the first changing market, we apply big data and machine learning technologies to develop a battery aging sim simulator. It's capable of predicting battery long-term performances with just small number of cycle test data. Though, Researchers are able to get an um, idea of new battery performance in very early stage without spending long time running numerous test cycles. Last not least, all our equipment is made in Taiwan. The quality is unquestionable. Now I'm going to introduce some of our highlight products. BT2000 is the compact multi-range battery test equipment. It's the smallest equipment among same label products and with outstanding performances. BT2000 support four current ranges and the accuracy is 0.20%. The current response and switch time is less than one millisecond and the data recording frequency is up to one millisecond. It meets all needs for advanced battery research. Fully module Modular design is adapted, though installation and maintenance are easy. While some channels are malfunctioned, the client are able to remove them and replace with spare channel quickly without interrupting. BT2000 is the smallest battery test equipment among same label products in a 23-inch 25U standard rig. It contains 128 channels of a 5 volt 10 m model or 8 channels of a 5 volt 200 m model. The lab space utilization can be optimized. MCA is the battery production equipment with energy recycling features. It's designed for larger scale battery production. To achieve green production, and reduce cost and at the same time, MCA is the one. The energy recycling efficiency for cell label is around 69%, and for module and pack label is around 85%. This is a high efficiency solution, significantly reduce electric power consumption and carbon footprint during production, which is international trace. One PC controls more than 6,000 channels of MCEA model, so the operator is able to manage the production process. Also, our equipment can be integrated with third-party solutions such as the PLC and MES system. The production history will be uploaded to MES and CAP properly for further tracking and analysis. The mechanical design of MCA makes it compact and stand alone. The unique size is reduced by 50%, so more units can be placed on the same space to increase space 
utilization. Furthermore, the channels are hard sweatable, and broken one can be removed and replaced in one minute. With these features, factory productivity and equipment turnover are temporary are best maximum. Safe is always the first priority for the production line. We integrate multiple basic and advanced fault detection me mechanisms into our battery production solution and connect to third-party device to eliminate safety play in real time. The next product i like to introduce our SBT-1000 series is for lithium battery state of the health rapid evaluation. Also, it's one of the winners of 2020 Taiwan Excellent Award, the purpose to achieve circular economy on battery industry. The majority of EV cost is on battery. However, when its performance decays to a certain level, mostly around the 80 state of health, it needs to be replaced. If retired batteries can be reused for secondary applications, its economic value increases and the cost on EV cost as well. SPT Thousand is capable of evaluating battery state of health in one millisecond and determine if they are suitable for reuse on secondary applications such as energy storage system or emergency lighting. The accuracy is up to 92%. Compared to traditional evaluation method, the test time required for SPT Thousand reduced by 99%. Thus Thus, reaching the same productivity, the electric power consumption and the equipment needed for testing significantly reduced as well. Most important of all, the results are satisfying. The reasonable evaluation costs increase economic benefit of EV battery reuse and attract big player into joy. ChainCheck is the pioneer on battery state of health research and owns several patents on it. On our battery big data database, the, the data points are already over 2 billion. According to our previous experience, the accuracy of initial battery SOH model is around 92%. However, by applying our patent technologies, the model can be refined automatically and the result gets even more pre precise as time goes by. Above, above are the brief technology of Chentech Electric and our highlight products for international sales services always a major concern. In addition to competitive products, we promise to deliver cost client is easy to reach us through multiple online and offline channels, including phone, email, instant message app, and we usually reply within hours. Alisa is our sales specialist for international Indonesia market. So if you are interested in please can you can contact me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hu, for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, you may click on the link on the screen to submit questions if you have any. Our next presenter will be Miss Sherry Chen, sales department supervisor. She will talk about Kaizen Green Energy's electric buzz. Good day, everyone. I'm Sherry from Sales Department. I'm delighted to give a brief introduction of Kaizen Green Energy Tech. The development of our company can be divided into three stages. Before 2015, the entire electric vehicle environment was not so well developed. Still, we obtained the certificate of our first model K9A bus and the first batch of official delivery. During 2016 to 2018, Kaishen successfully obtained the factory registration certificate and won the bit of land in Machoho Industrial Park in Jiayi as another factory for our future. And the sales of our other two products, electric forklift and E6 electric car. At the same time, we also extend the experience of repairing electric vehicles to motorcycles.
So in 2019, we not only released the new model K9DA bus, but also official rep- operation last year. At the same time, our factory in Jiayi was completed too. Under the global pandemic, we still signed new contract of seven buses in January this year, and the company continued to grow at a peak. Our new factory located in Jiayi, with plant area around thirty-six thousand square meters, our average production is three hundred and fifty cars a year. Also, the Only aluminum alloy car capability in Taiwan. And here's our main product, K9DA electric bus. We supply to major bus companies in northern Taiwan after obtaining the certificate of qualification at the end of 2019. The bus mainly optimized in three parts. First, our aluminum alloy body upgraded stronger and tougher. Second, new generation of motor HP is greatly improved, and third, we turn tra- we change to water cool battery system. Car body adopts Swiss technology, all aluminum alloy modular design, with a weight reduction of forty percent, stiffness increased by twenty percent, so the range is greatly improved. In addition, the corrosion resistance of aluminum alloy is much better than the traditional steel body. And next, wheel drive is a separate motor on both sides, with maximum power increased to 150 kilowatts and maximum speed increased. Most European cars also use this power model. Next, EMC refers to the EU standard. Laboratory tested for high voltage safety protection and leakage safety. The bus also conducts simulation tests for a situation that may be caused by car accident through needle punching, extrusion, and fire. According to laboratory data, battery life is over four thousand cycle and eighty percent power remaining. Taking a look at our company's sales performance. Nowadays, we have 158 electric buses in operation in Taiwan, with a total mileage of nearly 30 million kilometer, and the market share of 27 percent. Among them, our first bus has a total mileage of 410,000 kilometer. Falling is a film that we record our electric bus travel from Mali to Hualien. Let's take a look. We completed 320 kilometers of pioneer work from central to the east, nearly half a circle around Taiwan, with consumption of 56.1 percent power. And this is our K9 series and clients for your reference. The above is my briefing of Kaishan Green Energy Tech. For more information, feel free to visit our website or email us. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Chen, for joining us today. The last presenter will be Mr. Peter Zheng, General Manager of Energy Moana Tech. He will introduce their latest fast charging system and electric scooter. Let's welcome Mr. Zheng. Hello, I'm Peter Chen. I'm the General Manager of、uh, Energy Moana Tech.
technology company. First, let me introduce my company profile. In 2016, our company officially put into production of electric locomotives. As you can see, our company cap is current 320 million Taiwan dollars. Main operating items include production of electric locomotives, charging stage establishment, and energy storage system. There are two different types of charging power, one to one and one to two charging station. Our charging power has passed the tech technical inspection of ITRI. The specification of the charging pile are attached as shown. This is the picture and the specification of EV50 light electric locomotive produced by our company. As you will see, the mass, the mass speed is per hour 50 kilometers and the range is about 40 to 50 kilometers. There are five colors you can choose. The feature of EV50 are digital dashboard, large footprint space and disc brake and fast charging. The CV value at this price is the highest in Taiwan. There are two different charging master for our electrical locomotives. One is the first charging System and the other is the regular charging system. The big, the biggest feature of our company charging locomotive is that it can be charged from 20% to 80% in about only 10 minutes. It means you can charge your motorcycle at your home. We cooperate with Taiwan Battery Company to develop and design this lithium ion battery and this battery is made in Taiwan. It's a fantastic technological innovation. The last is our contact information. If you have any interest, please contact us immediately. Look forward to hearing your good news. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zheng, for your presentation. With that, we conclude today's webinar. Once again, you can submit your questions by using the Q&A QR code on the screen. The companies will answer the questions in the next few weeks as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Taitra, I would like to thank you for tuning in to the webinar today. Thank you for your participation, and we hope to see you again soon.